The fuck is that? Where, 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 where? Oh, there's somebody out there! What? Who is Who's that? Oh, my it's God. Michael Barrymore! Oh, my God! Just Michael Barrymore! Oh, my God! Is she famous? <laughs> it's not she, it's Michael Barrymore, not Drew Barrymore. Do you remember him? He was on the telly in the 90s. Strike It Lucky, My Kind of People, All White. Hit Hi! I love you! Wow, loves you. That's good, isn't it? Oh, she loves yeah. me. Yeah, it might be a bit awkward. Uh, he's going to break it to her. I wet myself when I saw you! Whoa, steady, OK. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not into that, are you? So no. what, uh, sorry, what, what did you say? She, she wet herself. Who? The, the, the chubby scouse. Is that your kind of thing? No, he's not into the wetting. No, the no, 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 no. Nothing damp. Nothing damp. He wants it dry, OK? Yeah, yeah. Keep it, keep it dry. dry. Dry, love. No Go damp. <sighs> Good. So, what are you doing later, then? You put you up in a hotel? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of keeping it in here. Uh, you can't keep it in here. Chesney's already bagged it. Chesney can fuck off. This is my turf. <laughs> This is Big Brother's Big Mouth. Oh. OK, joining us tonight, a wonderful comedian who I'm such a big fan of that at times people have even accused me of stealing her jokes. Though I stand by my defence that my routine on being an Iranian mother of two was mine first. It's Shappy Corsandi. And when people can't read about celebrities in heat, they look at pictures of women breaking their silence about having really fat kids in this man's magazine. It's new magazine's Patrick Strudwick. And if this group of people were a celebrity, they'd been in a borrowed frock sucking off a cast member of Hollyoaks for glue. It's the studio audience. Yeah! And as ever, if you want to get involved at any point during the show, you can phone, text or email. Right, so, uh, what a bizarre day in the world of Big Brother. Uh, a guest appearance from pop sensation Chesney Hawks. Remember him? He sang that song, I Am The One And Only, which, to my mind, is still one Chesney Hawks too many. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Terry and Mutia had to memorise facts about Chesa, like uh, Chesney would rather live a year as a rat than have the face of a rat. So, in other words, Chesney would rather live a year as a rat than be in his current predicament. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they also really pushed Terry to the limit with a very unusual relic he had to inspect, a sample of Chesney Hawk's used toilet roll. He'd rather have hooves than a, than a, than a baboon's bottom. Oh, Chesney. Chesney wasn't the only celeb lifted into the house. Uh, glamour model Michelle Marsh was another special guest. Uh, Tommy, ever the optimist, asked Michelle for the Scottish football results. What was he expecting from a london based glamour model? You know, her hoisted up on that crane. Heart of Midlothian 2, Partick Thistle 4. <laughs> St Mirren Stenhouse Muir, match postponed. Pools predict home win. <laughs> They, uh, they also failed to recognise Michael Barrymore's desperate attempts, even resorting to his famous Hitler impression to get noticed. <laughs> Come on, I haven't been off telly that long. Uh, the task has also pushed Tina to her breaking point, although she's willing to soldier on in this one, when rumours surface of a potholing task, she refuses outright. I won't give in. I won't yeah. cave. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nothing cheers housemates up more, though, than a game, and Tina was on fire. Here are the clues. Two words, literally enormous. In fact, the only man-made structure you can see from space. Oh, oh, oh. My ass. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong clip. That was meant to be the Great Wall. The... <laughs> Uh, Tina did prove today, though, that she has a very flirtatious side uh, when trying to impress Chesney. I would love to get chatted up by her in a club, sidling up to me at the bar. I wet myself when I saw you. <laughs> and when you looked into my eyes, I did a number two. <laughs> was your dad a thief? Cos mine was. <laughs> Winning is tough, though. Uh, poor Ben claimed that as a child, his mum used to buy him trophies to make him feel better. Must have got pretty embarrassing when his friends came round. Ben, is, is that the Champions League trophy above your bed? I didn't know you were in the 1968 Manchester United team. You won best in show at Crofts! <laughs> she even got in that Jules Rimet World Cup trophy until that fucking dog found it. <laughs> but the big news, of course, this weekend is that tomorrow either Lucy or Rika will be leaving this madhouse, yes? The house will be an uglier place tomorrow when one of these two beauties says goodbye. <laughs> 
The housemates who face eviction this week are Lucy and Ulrika. Yeah, whatever. I'm not having a breakdown just yet. But it's coming. Probably the highlight of my career was hosting the Eurovision Song Contest. I want to run naked through the garden. There'll be plenty of sunshine in Scotland for a change, which would be very nice. Do you wake up looking like that, Lucy? I've just got nothing to say. <laughs> you know, you don't think Holly's talented page three girls. I put it in my mouth. I'm gonna have to get on the exercise day. Is that part of that? Or is that just a wall? No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Your tits look great in that top. We might not see you again. See so ya. It's not these girls, man. Well, you know how it is. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Right. Right, we are calling this discussion the Swede versus the Melons. Uh, Shappy, welcome to the show. Um, who do you think should go tomorrow, Lucy or Ulrika? I don't know who should go. I was all for Ulrika, but I think Lucy tonight won some brownie points when she uh, stood up to Coolio. Stood up to Coolio. Do you, know because I, do you know what I mean? Something needed to be said, and she did the whole kind of misogyny is not acceptable yeah. thing. She didn't quite say that, but she did speak in that voice. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the little party. Um, and <laughs> but I have nothing else to say about it. I just don't like them because they smell um, she? She, um, and and I because I, I did think it was funny when uh, Michelle asked if Compton was a posh place because she <laughs> clearly was not au fait with the with the popular boy band NWA um, <laughs> probably down to her age but they, she did not deserve the whole beat her yeah. uh, or whatever but it was the the, the fine gentleman said so I don't know I, I don't I don't um, I don't mind Lucy now. You She's don't mind right, Lucy. Mind. She stood. She stood up to Coolio. Patrick, what do you reckon? Do you think that's maybe saved her? I don't think so. And I think they should both go, but for both different go. reasons. <laughs> okay. Alrika is treating the Big Brother experience like you do when a fight breaks out, breaks out on the tube, like as if it, watch it off. Well, well, no, you just <laughs> you, you just think if I if I, if I watch look, you know, inspect my nails and pretend that it's not happening, it'll all go away soon enough. Yeah. But actually. She was almost quite good when she was on the floor singing, which made me kind of think, like, who could have guessed that we'd see her at her most talented on her knees? Yeah. <laughs> it, but Lucy... It was a harsh task as well, having to do... You know, Van, poor Van can't even dance on the floor. What chance has he got on the ceiling? That is... Yeah. It was a weird task as well, very scary in the little... Uh, she didn't... She, her singing was appalling. Yeah. Well, well I mean, it wasn't that it wasn't bad. Great. But Lucy, I mean... Lucy didn't fare that much better with, with Coolio. I mean, how dare she say to him that, you know, you're the most irritating man I've ever met? Well, Lucy, you're the most boring person I've ever watched. <laughs> OK. Uh... <laughs> OK, so are you, are you a fan of Lucy's? Are you a fan of Lucy's? I don't like Lucy. You don't like Lucy? Uh, is it, have we got any Lucy fans in yes, anyone? Do you think girls with big breasts are stigmatised? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we've got to stick yeah. up for him. You got Definitely. to you stick up for her, and she's a, a sister, and she's in the house. Do you think yes. she should stay in, and Ulrika should go? Horrible flat-chested Ulrika. Yes. yes. Big thanks all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Big moves. Ah, uh, good. Okay. Um, what do you reckon? Do you reckon it should be Ulrika or Lucy? It's tough. They've both done their bit for the nation. I think you know Lucy's showing a lot of front to the nation, but um, but um, wow. but he does sound effects. It, it's great. Right. Yeah. But um, saying that. You know, Ulrika's had kids with half the nation, so, you know, she's swaying in the boat. She's swaying in the boat. She's Mo moral of the story is, if you do a joke, give a ba -dum -dum after it and they'll like it. So, uh, we actually have uh, Lucy Pinder's friend and fellow glamour model, Michelle Marsh, on the phone. Yeah. yeah. OK. Don't make me look stupid. Uh, Michelle, hello. Hello, how are you? Hey, yeah, good. Uh, ooh, Michelle. Uh, so, uh... You've uh, got red. Yeah. <laughs> What are you wearing? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, um, sorry, uh, professional. Um, is it lace? No, no. Uh, the, uh, you, uh, you stood nipple to nipple with Lucy on hundreds of occasions. Yeah. Um, how do you think she's doing in the house? Um, I'm, I'm glad that she's, you know, she's the only one that's kind of stuck up for herself and told Coolio that he's been a bit of a pain in the ass. So I'm glad she's done that. I think she's been very quiet, you know. Um, I don't think she's come out of her shell yet. I still think there's more of her to see, well, quite literally. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think a lot of men in this studio would agree with that. Do you, do you think she's... Uh, do, 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 would you have been able to stand up to Coolio if, if he'd been annoying you like that, do you reckon? 
I don't know. I think it takes a, a lot of balls to do that. So I'm really proud of her for doing that. A lot of people have just been kind of moaning and slagging behind his back. So she's kind of the only one that said to his face, listen, just shut up. You're doing my nutting. Wicked. All right. Thanks very much, Michelle. Speak Thank to you, you later. Joel. I say speak to her later. I won't be. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, what do we reckon? Do we agree with Michelle that Lucy hasn't been able to come out of her shell yet? I don't agree with it, no. Oh, you think that we've seen what we've seen from Lucy? There's nothing more to her? I don't think there is anything more to her, really. She's but then, chance. yeah, she did stand up she's to Coolio. She's had chance, isn't she, she's really? She's she's been she's been and do you think she just hasn't impressed in any way? This is how lame Lucy is. So she's been away from her friends and family <laughs> for a week, a cut off from the outside world. She sees a friend of hers <laughs> from the outside. She could have said anything to her. She could have said, tell my mother I loved her, what's happening in Gaza. No, she says, your hair's really nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, OK. Lame. The, um, right, here is some unseen footage. It's Vern in the diary room telling the others how they should deal with Coolio. I mean, it's like anybody. Um, if they knew that they were getting to you, um, it, it, it's probably fine for them. So they probably wouldn't stop. So just suck it up, yes. Sorry, I just farted. <laughs> uh, uh, Shappy, do you do we agree with Vern? I'm just laughing because when everyone's going, oh. He could be, oh yeah, he could be my father. I wish my father was like that, a little sweet little, and I bet his fart smelled of fairy liquid. He's so cute. <laughs> but do you agree with that? Just ignore Coolio. Is that the best thing to do? Yeah, because Coolio's a bit of an attention seeker, but he is funny. Now, I don't know what it's like to live with him, yeah. but he is funny. And the, the, the thing that made me really laugh today was when he was with Latoya. Yeah. And he's just, he can't help himself. He always has to be making a move on the ladies. Yeah. And he was, what was he doing to her finger? I don't know. <laughs> But he was d d doing something, and he goes, I, I don't like to sleep alone. I like to have a girlfriend with me. And, uh, you know, and then she kills the romantic moment by going, I just got a catching a disease. Yeah. And then he's just like, oh, man. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, just carry on with what you're doing. She, t she looked a bit frightened, though. A little bit frightened of the disease-ridden Coolio. She looks um, like a little guinea pig, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, a little guinea pig Latoya. OK, uh, join us after the break for more Big Mouth. Uh, but before we go, I don't know whether you noticed this, we've just been talking about Latoya, but poor Latoya never seems totally content with her looks, um, whether it's a guinea pig or just she's jealous of Coolio's hair. I wish I had your your volume. Welcome back to Big Brother's Big Mouth. Still with us tonight are my favorite female Iranian comic Tropical Sandy and showbiz bitch Patrick Strudwick and our wonderful studio audience. Now. After one week, tensions in the house are reaching boiling point. Coolio is driving most of the women mad, Tina in particular. I sympathise with her because last night, Coolio waited until she had fallen asleep, crept up to her bed and released some of his man tension all over her. <laughs> Tina suspects that Coolio was the offender, but he denies it, making the very valid point you can wank off, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Another case solved. Uh, let's take a look at some more celebrity housemates cracking up. I wonder what today will bring. Am I giving you a headache? A little bit. OK. If you apply some pressure, burn it. She says I'm giving her a headache. I agree, you're giving me one. Every time that I try to say something, everybody's like... Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. I have to say... Like, I'm not going to sit here for three hours and let him come and sit here for ten minutes, do you know what I mean? You're the most irritating person I've ever met. Are you trying to start some shit here? No, I'm trying to get you to shut up. Coolio is singularly worse than any of my four children. You can wank off, too. OK. <laughs> I don't bend, I don't break. I won't give in. Oh, fuck, I need a break. <laughs> oh. I think 
most celebrities need to get over themselves and realise that there are more important things going on in the world, like Paris Hilton revealing she's only slept with two men. But you know what they say, if a man tells you how many women she slept with, divide it by two. If a woman tells you, times it by two. And if Paris tells you, times it by a fucking thousand. <laughs> anyway, we have called this discussion Breaking Point. So, Shappy, who do you think is closest to breaking now? Well, I'm hoping it's Tina, because she keeps threatening to break. She keeps yeah. telling everyone, I, you know, I'm one of those people, I say things to people's faces and I don't take... Blah, 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 blah. And she's always saying that she's going to say stuff to people's faces, but to other people, away from the person's face that was irritating her in the first place. So I think I, I, want, her, I want her to just get on with... with, with is this breaking. a case of fart and their poo, or is there poo somewhere? If we <laughs> deep digger, will we find poo? I don't know how in love I am with the idea of digging for poo. Digging for poo. <laughs> but I think the poo is kind of brimming just below the surface. <laughs> and I think it might sort of unleash itself. But I'm worried with Tina. Yeah. I'm worried that really it's Coolio that's doing her head in. Okay. But... But I reckon she might, because she's, a, you know, she's very gregarious and you never know what's going to happen with her, she might accidentally go off at Vern. By accident, okay. she might confuse so him. So she's and... a bit... OK, right. So I've still got my hand in the poo. Um... <laughs> Put your hand up, Ugh, Sorry, watch out, Paxman. Uh, right, OK. Um, what do you think is the biggest cause of stress in the house? Cool you? Uh, it's not the house. Uh, I think you could put some of these people anywhere and they'd crack up, cos some of them are just inher inherently mental. Yeah. I mean, what we learn about Tina Malone is that she is incredibly different from her character in Shameless, oh. in that her character is a toned-down version of her, yeah. a more sane version of her. And, you know, any woman that describes herself as a big girl with a small hole is only ever going to be minutes away from breaking up. Yep. She be filthy. Um, OK, uh, have, we got, have we got Tina fans in? Do we think Tina is, is, is going to break? What do we reckon up here? Um, I reckon she's going to go absolutely mental, going a killing spree, I think. A killing spree? You a think there's going to be physical violence? Yeah, yeah. She's going to get into that kitchen, get out some knives and start cutting off some dicks? Uh, 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 Coolio is first. Um, Coolio is first. What was that action there you did? I uh, slitting his throat. OK, good. I like it. We've got a physical audience in tonight. Um, anyone else? Uh, girls up here, uh, no sound effects from you, please. Right, OK, so um, do you think it's going to be Tina that's going to break or is there no, anyone Michelle. else? Michelle. You think Michelle? Michelle. She's gonna. She's gonna get bullied. Because the whole Coolio not... thing with her and Ben, she got really uptight and she's really like conscious oh, of the press. Yeah, she's crying all the time. She's crying all the time. Yeah. Do you think she's milking that a little bit? Do you think she's maybe playing up for the cameras? Patrick, what do you reckon? Is there a little bit too much going on with Michelle trying to get our sympathy? Oh, it's pathetic. When she was crying the other day. <laughs> what? I mean, you brush past her, she start crying. What's that? I mean, please. But it's just a desperate attempt to get sympathy and attention. It's like she knows that she's not the biggest character. She's no, she knows she's not the most famous. She, what does she, so what does she do? She starts crying to get some attention. Well, I'd ignore her. I never her. know why she's crying. I never. She's like that sort of nutty girl at school that's always crying because her granddad's died for the tenth yeah. time. <laughs> why is she is crying? She's lost so much weight. She just can't wait to eat something again. <laughs> okay. Do we have anyone? Do we have any Michelle um, people that like Michelle? Maybe just someone? <laughs> okay, do we have anyone that's willing to lie and pretend they like Michelle so this programme looks like it's not one sided? Yup. Michelle's one for, yeah, she's good. Good. It's Coolio, Coolio that's cracking up already. He's covering it in the diary room, pretending he's playing a little game, but really he's just losing it. You think he's losing it? He's yeah, actually going, but you think angry. this maybe started before he went into the house? He's, he's just always being like nasty. that. He's just covering it, like when you say, no offence, but. So he's going in the diary. No offence, but okay, yeah. right. He's pretending to play okay. a game. That's all he's doing. He's pretending to play it. But at first he wasn't. You know, he's given, and he's a nasty, nasty person. But now he knows he's upsetting people. He's pretending. Oh, I'm just playing a game. Okay, gentlemen up here, you look like the kind of guy that's maybe been in a fight. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if I came up to you in a bar and offered you a Bailey's, you'd probably punch me in the dick. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the big fella. That's what I'm going to call you, big man, like that. And I'm going to do that. Um, do, uh, who do you think? Could there be a fight in there? Do you reckon? Uh, I hope they keep Lucy in because I want to see Coolio wind her up some more. Okay. I think so. Well, you're going to say something else that. there, but you surprised me. Well done. <laughs> um, okay, uh, here's some footage that suggests Coolio has completely lost the plot. I got my second win. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a virtual dynamo of power. You feel me? No. I got, I got super balls. <laughs> you feel me? No. 
I bounce back. I'm resilient. I'm a, a, a dynasty. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kingdom of my own. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a carrier ship. You know what I'm saying? No. I'm an aircraft carrier. Okay. Right. Uh, I really don't know what he's a carrier of, but I would keep my distance from that man. What do we reckon to that outburst from Coolio? If you put Coolio in solitary confinement, in about half an hour, he'd just he'd start headbutting himself. OK, sure. This gentleman over here, very keen to be spoken to. Uh, and uh, do you know why? Because I saw him outside and he has a massive pair of balls as well. Uh, <laughs> sir, what would you like to say about Coolio there, talking about his testicles? Boy, to me, Coolio's playing the game. It's, it's, it's a competition. He's Coolio's trying to win the whole thing, so obviously he's got to act, act You act called out. me all the way over here to tell me Coolio <laughs> is playing a game. Uh, <laughs> OK. Um, what do you reckon, Shafi? Uh, I reckon that Coolio was more upset that he'd got the girls back up that he let on in front of them, because all of a sudden, in the diary room, who's a little bit, like, really inside, he's going, I've upset the ladies. He's oh, upset no. them. He's lost it. OK, that's all we've got time for tonight. Thank you very much to my wonderful guests and the studio audience. <laughs> um, we'll join me at 11 o'clock tomorrow for more Big Brothers Big Mouth. <laughs> Lucy and Ulrika face eviction this week. To evict Lucy, call 09016 161604. That's 09016 161604. To evict Ulrika, call 09016 161610. That's 09016 161610. Calls cost 35 people in BT Landline. Calls from other networks may vary, and from mobiles will cost considerably more. Ten pence from each call will be donated to charity. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show.